Hey guys, my name is Aishukla and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about meditation. I know a lot of people, a lot of students look at meditation like, but let me tell you that meditation is amazing. I started meditating around 7 months ago, around December when I was super super pressurized with all the exam assignments and all that. But since then, slowly and steadily, my life has been changing. Meditation really helps you in being aware of your thoughts, being aware of what you really want. It gives you clarity and most importantly, it helps you to be who you are, right? So let's quickly dive into how you can start meditating as a beginner, as a student. Alright folks, so before I get down to step number one, remember, stop smoking and start meditating. Alright guys, so step number one. The number one step that you have to do is you have to choose a home base. What is a home base? Home base is basically the focus point in the duration of your meditation. For me, it's music. The most common home base is breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. For you, it can be anything. It can be this hand touching this hand. It can be the feeling. It can be sensation of what's going on in your head. It can be even the slightest nerve or the heartbeat. It can be anything, right? Just It's just a focus point that you have to select in order to meditate, right? My personal favorite is music because it really helps me focus and I'm able to meditate without getting distracted, all right? So the first thing I have to do is choose a home. Second step is to make and stick to a schedule. I personally meditate two to three times a day. One is definitely after I wake up, one is after I take a bath, and one is before I go to sleep. Right. So these are three times I meditate. For you, it should be you should start obviously with one, but if you want to do more, obviously you can depending upon the capacity. But at least one once per day with ten minutes duration is a must. To start with, it can get irritating, it can get, you can feel that the 10 minutes are more than 10 hours, but that's the way meditation is. If you feel like that 10 minutes is it's, it's like spending 10 hours, then you are doing it the right way, right? Keep this in mind and just be patient and be strict with your schedule. Step number three is mind muscle curl. Just like in the gym, when you have a dumbbell in your hand, and you do a bicep curl, one, two. Similarly, when you're meditating, your mind wanders. You want to focus on your home base, that's the only motive that you have in meditation, right? But your mind will keep wandering to different type of things. And when you go to and fro from these emotions, away from your home base, back to your home base, it's like a bicep curl for your brain muscle. It's strengthening your brain muscle, it's strengthening your concentration, your awareness, your clarity. And it's making you spiritually stronger. And that is what real mindfulness means. It can be hard at times coming back because sometimes you're just lost in thought. And before you realize, the meditation ends. But that is how you will learn meditation. It's a day on day, month on month, year on year process. Alright folks, so the last step is treating your meditation as a routine just like you go to the gym, right? And the good part about meditation is that you don't sweat just like you sweat in gym, right? Just like gym, it will take time to build that mind muscle. It will take time for you to see results, but I promise you it will be much much faster than the results that you see in gym. And remember the results of meditation is not during meditation, but during the life. Right? During when you will be living your life, you will see changes in, inside of you, which will be thanks to meditation. Right? So the final step is to stick to a schedule. Number one, stick to a home base. Number two, meditate at least 10 minutes. Stick to that per day schedule and then do this at least 
for 15 to 20 days because if you do it for 15 to 20 days as i told you you'll not leave it you'll never leave it that's the guarantee right 15 to 20 days if if, if you are a quick learner but if you are not at least 30 days right 30 days 10 minutes 300 minutes 5 hours is not a lot that is all that i'm asking you remember key is to keep doing it you keep getting better day on day it will get easier and it will become a part of your life it takes 21 days to develop a habit and that's that's what you have to do meditate and change your life if you need help with meditation if you are not self dependent you need somebody's help download calm app or headspace i personally use uh, calm app i have a one year subscription to it i purchased a subscription so they have a basic 30 day uh, meditation course as well which you can always use right i started out with my own self but because i wanted to increase the frequency of meditating i now meditate three times a day so twice i take help of calm once uh, it's, it's basically they have a lot variety of videos from awareness mindfulness concentration relationships anxiety depression relationship and a lot of stuff right so i personally use it and it's it's, it's worth the investment it's just hardly 3500 rupees so if, if you want to do that you can obviously uh, purchase calm app and they also have a trial period of seven days so just try Try it out for seven days, change your IDs four or five times, and then you obviously have a month, right? So that is uh, that is one thing you can do uh, if if you're not a self-dependent person, just like I am. I also need sometimes calm assistance. So yeah, if you need help, calm headspace are my go-to apps for meditating. All right? For me, meditation personally is not gaining something. You'll not gain something out of meditation by doing it. Rather, you will lose things. I have lost my anger, I have lost my frustration, I have lost my anxiety, I have lost the toxic negative feelings that we humans generally have like jealousy and hatred and all that right. I have lost all of them to a great extent. Now I have a positive outlook towards everything and I try to help as many people as I can genuinely. Before I had to, now I genuinely want to do better for other people right. And that is what meditation will teach you. It will make you a better person, and that is why I definitely recommend you to do meditation. Give it a shot. Take a 30 day challenge, make a routine, write down a diary, checklist, make a checklist, and keep doing it, guys. Come on, you can do this, right? That was it for today's video. That was basically meditation, how to get started with it. It's a very, very basic level of meditation, and I'll be, I will be uploading more and more meditative content. But this is this is all you need to start meditating. If you like the video, like it, share it, comment on it, and definitely subscribe because you have a thousand subscribers already, and I am at like 800 ish something subscribe guys. Until next time, keep it.